Our digital future, wisdom from the past, vision from the present, and my job, a day in the future. How do you see your future? 20, 30, or even 50 years from now? How do you see your home, your workplace, your healthcare system, your education, and not to forget how you interact with your tribe. Now, focus on the blue light. <laughs> Close your eyes and let's travel together to a day in the future. You'll see it through my eyes. You wake up now, 7 a.m. in the near future. I wake up with no alarm system. I'm surprised. But let me tell you that brainwave synchronization technology will enable this to happen through introducing you to REM sleep gradually, giving you a smooth awakening. So where the person that needed to snooze their alarm three times and still woke up as a train wreck goes. As curious as I am, I would look and scour through my room walls. I would see 7 a.m., but under it, I would see the 29th of January, 2030. Well, that can be right. But as I said, I'm a big curious George, so I will try to go on with my day as I usually do. And my first step would be Go into a shower. I try to find the knobs for hot and cold water. But the thing is, there are none to be found. I try and try, and growing frustrated, I would yell, well, how am I going to turn this shower on? A voice comes down. Good morning, sir. Let me take care of that shower for you. Um, who's there? I'm Ion, sir, your home assistant. Okay, now where are you, Ion? Because I can't find you. I am wherever you are. I'm your assistant after all, sir. I started to guess that it was an artificial intelligence talking to me. I say, okay. Where are you based, Ion? Are you based in cloud? You know, 2017 cloud? No, sir. Cloud has been revolutionized in 2025. We are using Ethercom now. Wondering what Ethercom is, but more importantly, where is my wife? I woke up without her in bed. <laughs> but the thing is, I didn't say it out loud. And I am answers, your wife is in her virtual office, sir. How did you do that? Are you a read mind reader or something? No, sir, with your chip behind your ear and brainwave technology, we can interact directly through telepathy. Okay, we're going to sci-fi mode now. I'm still looking for Ion and trying to keep the conversation going. But, you know, unlike Castle with his Lucy, I couldn't find a box to turn off. I go check on my wife, and I see that she has emotive technology, and she is communicating with her office. Start feeling a little hungry now. I am, of course, starting to annoy me now. Um, would you like a, a breakfast now, sir? Yeah, of course. Can we order it? Yes, it will take you five universal coins, sir. OK. What is universal? Ion answers again, like he's a know-it-all. Sir, 
bit, uh, cryptocurrency technology took a unified direction where everyone now uses one cryptocurrency, which is universal. Universal, as a name, came from the universal income that is given to people as most of our jobs disappeared and we have no need for those resources anymore. Okay, but how can you buy, you know, food, cows, coffee, whatever? How do we produce them? How can we afford to give universal pay? I hear some buzzing. Okay. Um, what is this buzzing, Ion? It's the drone dropping off your breakfast, sir. It hasn't been two minutes. How did they do that? Artificial intelligence is now communicating automatically with each other all around the world. And you know why? Because Ethercom was the revolution that we needed in matters of communication instead of going through radio technology, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever have you. Now we only have one channel through which we encrypt all our communication. This helped context-aware AIs to easily communicate those variables and be more aware of each other and of the world around them. Drones were something in my day, so I wasn't so surprised. Not after everything that I learned now. So, I go to my fridge and find the items that were delivered already stored there. I try to take out a steak because I take breakfast as a steak. So me. Um, but Ion tried to do so, actually, by telling me that I had 200 more grams this morning. I felt a little bit stuffed. Um, he said that he could adjust my diet to do so. I said, look, no green beans, please. I want my steak in the morning. He said that, no problem, sir. We can adjust the amount of protein and the amount of fat within your steak. How would you do that? Well, food now is synthetic, which means that a steak is built from stem cells within your own diet and within your own requirements. And this will help in the food shortage that we found in 2025. Now, I own talks again. It's your time for the daily checkup. Your health checkup, sir. Um, I thought we did that every six months. I won't go to the hospital every day to get my checkup. Um, there, there is no hospital, sir. You seem to forget a lot of things today. Um, you need just to go downstairs. Your health, your personal health unit is there. I go. It's a room with the walls. Um, where is the health unit? I, was, I imagined that it was a bed you lay on, you know, like sci-fi movies where you have that thing, scan you all over. Um, but it seems that I needed just to put my hand on the wall and it will scan me, detect my blood uh, pressure, my cholesterol, and what have you. Now, I think I need to go to work. It's 8.15. I'm, I'm still wired on that. And I ask, well, how am I going to work? You try to go outside. No, sir. You work in your virtual office as well. Okay. But why is it a pod? Why is it different from what my wife used? Well, because you still work in a virtual office, sir, which is to work with your colleagues. All right. Well, where is my virtual office? It doesn't exist, sir. It's a 3D compilation. That's nice. How did they make it so real now that we can believe that we are interacting with each other? But wait, Ion, what's my job description? I thought I would be a senior VP somewhere. Sir, you are implementing our ecosystem in the moon. That's great. Now, 
I enter the pod and go into my office. My work is boring, so I won't bore you with it. Now we get to the point. In 2030, we'll have, if things continue like this, a lot of issues that we need to tackle. Climate change will have reached a point where just exposing yourself to the sun will have 40% chance of giving you skin cancer. If we change nothing, some people will take the Mars Express and go somewhere because Earth will be unlivable. Some others will try to seclude themselves in what would they call ecodomes, which is trying to go back to the fifth or fourth industrial revolution and try to go back to the state where we interacted with Earth without carbon foot emit emissions. I don't agree with neither. Because with our demographic explosion, with our stressing the resources and our consumption, we cannot go back to the farmer state. And we will never find a better place to live than Earth. So, my suggestion and my belief and what I implore of you, all of you here, is to protect our planet. Protect it with every technology and every mean in your hand. Not only leaving nature alone, that's not enough anymore. We destroyed too much. We need to repopulate our fauna, our flora. We need to discover ways to bring back Mother Nature to its state and try to cohabitate with it, to consume as per need basis and to create our own resource ecosystem. Thank you.